Mr. General Keith Kellogg, former National Security Advisor and Fox News contributor. So this is the seventh round of talks, yeah. first in six months. If you were in that room, in actually in the room <laughs> with the Iranians, not a separate room, what would you be telling them? Well, I'd be telling them that which I think they're heading to, would be rather extreme. And, and we're almost talking, we've gone beyond the diplomatic almost to a military response because it's the only way they're going to stop. Look, they're currently, uh, you know, a breakout means you've enriched uranium at a 90 percent level, able to build a bomb. We know they're at 60 percent right now. The original Iran deal was at 5 percent. So they're heading towards a breakout. I think it's just a matter of time. And the consequences of that are, are pretty significant out there because it's going to totally destabilize the Middle East. So that's when I said that I think the time for negotiation Negotiations is done. This is a, a this is a state sponsor of terrorism. Iran is. You've got Khamenei, the supreme leader, and Raisi, who's the president, who are both hardliners, uh, and they're they're not you know Jeffersonian de uh, you know de Jeffersonian Democrats, and they're going to keep pushing, and they're going to try to they're going to try to develop that weapon, and I think they already are, and they're they're developing a place called Fordow, which is a hardened buried mm -hmm. facility, and you look at recently Grossi, who's the IAEA uh, chief, said we they're not even allowing us in there to even spec. So we really don't even know what they're doing. So you see the time for negotiations is over. Mm -hmm. But Jen Psaki says, no, that's our best option. Listen to what she said yeah. a few minutes ago. Unquestionably, our best approach here is through diplomacy. That is the preferable approach. So I'm not going to give a timeline for when that would end. This is the best available option to restrict Iran's nuclear program and provide a platform to address Iran's destabilizing conduct. Uh, that is what we are discussing. General Kellogg, a second ago, you mentioned the new hardline president, Ibrahim Raisi. He mm -hmm. says that, oh, no, to the U.S., you've got this all wrong. This isn't nuclear talks. This should be right. sanctions talks. Right. So Iran isn't even really thinking about the nuclear program. They're just thinking about getting out from the sanctions, yeah. and they want to cut a deal with our European allies and then have it shoved down our throats. Yeah, I think we have to accept the fact that with this administration, they're going to have to accept it. They're going towards a nuclear breakout. They will break out within the year. They're going to have a nuclear weapon within a year. And then we have to address those consequences, what follows on from there, because of the destabilization in the Middle East. I, John, the time for discussions is well past, and, and, but we're going to do that. I think we just, like a lot of things this administration has done, they're whistling past the graveyard. They just kind of ignore it. And then when it happens, gee, well, there's nothing we could do about it. Well, we have to understand that there's going to be consequences, and those consequences is a nuclear Iran destabilization of the Middle East. During the Trump administration, the president said, look, I'm happy to get back into a, a new deal mm -hmm. with Iran, but it can't just be about nukes. It's got to be about ballistic missiles. It's mm -hmm. got to be about terrorism and Iran's malign activities in the region, including you know, backing the Houthi rebels. Iran is saying, Phew, wait a minute, those are non-starters here. Mm -hmm. So the Biden administration is just negotiating on nuclear and not all of these other things. Yeah, I mean, and they're they're letting them do it. I mean, that's the reason the reason I made the comment they're whistling past the graveyard. They're ignoring a lot of things that are happening in Iran. Iran has the largest ballistic missile fleet in the Middle East. And then when you look at Iran, now you've got Afghanistan uh, to, to, to the east, and then you've got uh, nuclear Pakistan. Uh, you, the Saudis aren't going to tolerate this. The Israelis are not going to tolerate it. So I think you have to step back and, and go to the extreme levels. And I call it super escalation. You have to tell the Iranians, this is just not acceptable out there. And, and, and if we don't do that, I think we're going we're gonna to see a, a breakout in a very short period of time. Well, that language is not expected to come from anybody in the Biden administration. General Kellogg, always yeah. great to get your take on things. Thanks, John. Good to see you, too. You too.